Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Elliot here from Neanderthal Fitness. www.neanderthalfit.com Personal trainer, fitness instructor, fitness YouTuber. Um, so today's video is probably called, because obviously I'm recording now so I haven't named it, but it's probably called From the Never Bulk to the Forever Bulk. Um, so, um, basically this is a throwback so if you've seen some of my early videos um, I said that I was going to bulk and then I didn't and then I think I said I was going to bulk again and I didn't do that either um, or I didn't do it that time either and then at some point I said I was going to cut and I did do that marginally I didn't cut until I got a six pack I just cut until I got like a four pack and then I got bored because I like food <laughs> and eating like 1200 calories a day is not very much. Um, so, yeah, basically, my whole life I thought I had been skinny. Um, you know, maybe that's why I got into bodybuilding in the first place. Both my parents used to bodybuild, which is kind of why I got interested in fitness, I guess. Um, pretty sure my mum had 16 inch biceps when I was like 8, 7 or 8, something like that. That's pretty crazy. She's like five foot two tall. She could kick all your mum's asses. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's kind of why I got into it. But also because I've always been a small fry, like quite skinny. Um, I just watched like Arnie movies and Sly movies and thought, shit man, I want to be like that. I want to be huge and jacked. And obviously those guys are on steroids and I don't really want to take steroids. Sometimes I want to take steroids, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to take steroids that... Uh, Certainly not any time soon. Um, and if I ever do, I will not be a fake natty, as people call them. I would genuinely come out and say. But uh, as you can probably imagine by the size of my arms right now, I'm definitely not juicing. Um, so, yeah, basically, I always say I'm going to bulk, and then I don't bulk, and yada yada. And then I have bulked a bit in the past. Right now I weigh bang on nine stone. Um, I'm 167 centimeters tall, about five foot six or just under that. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm not very heavy at all, not very big at all. Uh, but I've been up to ten, ten and a quarter stone, so about a stone and a quarter heavier than I am now. Um, I want to get up to eleven stone, and. I basically have been listening to other people, like watching other YouTube videos, reading articles, and I think the gist of it is basically I want to stop worrying about abs. So fuck that I might gain a little bit of body weight. Right now, uh, according to one of the other PTs at work, did like the skin calipers on me, I'm like 10.8% body fat, which is low. And I don't have a six pack probably because I just simply don't have enough muscle built up underneath what little fat is left. Um, you know, so I, I just want to bulk up. I just want to get bigger. Fuck abs. Maybe next year or the year after, perhaps. But I'm essentially going to go on a perma-bulk for the next 12 months at least. At least 12 months. And then kind of reassess the situation. So, what will be a bulk for me? Well, According to my fitness pal, I could bulk of about half a pound a week, maybe a pound a week, half a pound a week, 2,400 calories. I'm going to say, fuck that shit, I'm going to eat 3,000 calories straight, because simply, if, if I change what I eat every day, um, and I count the calories, I just struggle to eat enough, and I came up with an eating plan before, which is really easy to eat, it's my uh, eggy fruit my tuna mayo sandwiches for lunch and my uh, beef and potatoes for dinner and it works out to 3,000 calories or thereabouts it's normally between like 2.8 and 3.2 a day depending on how much potatoes I have how much butter I put in that shit and what like whether I use semi skimmed or whole milk blah 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 so I'm going to bulk on aiming for about 3,000 calories a week uh, no <laughs> 3,000 calories a day um, starting whenever we go food shopping there's very little in the house right now um, so that I think we might go tonight 
I've got a client at 8, so we might go tomorrow night. But we'll go soon. Um, and once we do, I'll be like, yeah, I'm starting the permabulk and I'll do a video about starting it. But uh, essentially, yeah, I've always tried to bulk, never really successfully have. However, I was looking back through some old pictures of me um, and going back a couple of years, maybe three years, maybe slightly longer, I guess, I found a picture of me and I look buff as shit, man. Like, I'm. I'm not huge by any stretch. I don't know how heavy I was at the time. Looking at it compared to now, I gauge maybe like ten and a half stone. Maybe that was just ten and a quarter. I don't really remember. Because um, I was working out kind of recreationally then. I wasn't tracking calories or anything like that. Um, I was just well, essentially I was I was living with uh, a lady at the time who <laughs> was uh, what we would say in polite society a BBW. Um, she was quite a large lady and obviously I was a bloke so I didn't do much cooking um, so she made large portions and I ate large portions and obviously she was eating enough to get fat because she was fat so then I was eating enough to just put on like put on quite a bit of weight from where I was um, I did bulk up quite a lot when I was living there just eating like pasta and chicken and all kinds of way too much food <laughs> basically um, but yeah at the end of the video I'm going to put that picture next to a picture because it was taken on my webcam so I put it next to a picture taken on my webcam today so you can see the difference like it's not a full body shot it's just a, a chest and up shot but my shoulders my arms actually there's two pictures there's one where I'm actually striking a bicep shot and one when I'm just sat relaxed um, and both of them like my arm looks massive by comparison to how big it is now I was, I'm just shocked that you know I didn't realize how big I'd gotten at the time and didn't kind of stick with the training and, and then I went and did my whole paleo diet thing because I wanted to get a six pack basically dropped back to where I am now and lost everything I gained in that period of time um, I basically had more of a man well more of a manlet's body as opposed to a boy's body <laughs> which is pretty much what I have at the moment um, so yeah it's time to bulk for real um, footage to follow, hopefully footage of workouts if the gym is ever quiet enough for me to film. Obviously I don't like getting other people in the footage because you have to ask them and all that kind of shit but if I can get someone in training with me um, so I can get some footage done that will be cool. I'll put some training videos up but in general I'm just going to kind of put my progress, just have a chat about it every now and then. So yes, I'll keep going with the kyphosis update videos, and unfortunately now you're stuck with bulking update videos too. Um, again, I will try to hit other subjects in between, and if any of you have any requests, please do let me know. I will make a video about whatever it is you want to see, um, and that will be awesome. Also, let me know what the quality of this video looks like to you guys, because I've set my camera up to 1080p Full HD. Uh, normally I just record in 720 uh, HD because my computer is about 7, 8 years old and I'm trying to process 720 HP, uh, HP, HP source, HD video is um, a struggle for it. It glitches a lot when I'm uh, kind of doing the movie editing. So yeah, let me know if 1080p really makes a difference or if I just need a more expensive camera. Um, but yeah, that's the video. Click the like, click the subscribe, check out the pictures that are going to follow after I stop talking, um, comment below, subscribe, like, share, whatever, spread the word of Neanderthal Fitness my friends, peace.